Greetings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star. If you are new here, I don't know how you found me, but I am super glad you did. And if you are returning, y'all the real MVP, you already know. So this is something I've been inspired to do lately. I met a new friend and we both connected on the basis of feeling like we have a past life in Atlantis. We just connected really well and um, it's inspired me to do something I've wanted to do for a long time which is an Atlantis reading. So you guys already know I have talked about feeling like I have a past life in Atlantis, getting memory downloads and things and um, I do have quite a few Atlantis themed decks and I will get around to doing those card uh, pick a cards things like that but for the time being, I need to keep my readings short so I can't quite start jumping back into pick a cards just yet. And I feel like that'll probably be a little easier when I have an actual camera to do the whole downward angle with the, the table and whatnot. So right now I don't have a table. I am working very hard to get a whole setup going where I can do pick a cards because trust me, you guys, I love them. But um, what I'm going to do today is just kind of an intuitive oracle reading from... Um, Atlantis, Atlantis themed, Atlantis inspired. I'm so excited to do this and I have already lit my candle and done my prayer. So if you guys are doing intuitive reads, it is very important to ask your spirit guides and whoever else to be with you in the reading to help protect your energy and also help clear your intuition to give you the messages that your um, audience needs to hear. So today I am going to be using three different decks and it's going to be the Starseed Oracle, the Oracle of the Mermaids, whoop, I knew she was going to be upside down, and my Atlantis Oracle. There's no like back to these cards because these ones actually have information. So. What I'm going to do first, I think I'm going to start with the Atlantis, no, no, Starseed, I'm here in Starseed. So if you guys have ever felt like you are a Starseed or a light worker or you resonate with the idea of Atlantis or being from Atlantis or are just really drawn to Atlantis, I think this will be a fun one for you guys because this Atlantis deck by Diana Cooper um, has a lot of information about the history of Atlantis and it's very fun to read through. Often times when I get people who talk about Atlantis, I will immediately go pull a card for them from that deck because it's just fantastic. So I've got my little microphone right here. Hopefully the shuffling isn't too loud in your ears. I know some people do really like the sound of shuffling though. So um, the Starseed Oracle is actually a lot bigger than the Work Your Light Oracle and I can shuffle the Work Your Light Oracle pretty easily, but I didn't realize how much I don't use my Starseed. So let's go ahead and connect here. I have already done my prayer just for keeping the video a little short. And what I like to do is put some amethyst and some lapis lazuli in a little candle and use that as my uh, reading candle. I do light it, say a prayer, and ask my angels, ancestors, spirit guides, beings of light, and mother goddess Isis to be with me in my readings to protect my energy and help convey the messages that my viewers need to hear. So um, be sure to always thank them for being around you, protecting you, guiding you, and waking you out of your bed, uh, whoever your deity may be. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's all I've got. So I, I'm so excited. I immediately like just repeating that. I feel it. So let's go ahead and see if we've got any messages to start off this reading here. As you guys can see, it's a very big deck. Usually I don't get jumpers from the star seed or the work you're like, though. I always have to pull one for that. So I just figured we'd try. Any messages for the viewers to start off this Atlantis reading? Any messages for the viewers to start off this Atlantis reading? Let's try it this way. Any messages for our viewers to start off this Atlantis reading? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, here we go. I'm going to stop with those. So we got here. Oh, this is a lot of fun. All right, this is a fun message. So the first one we've got here is Inner Earth. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. 
It says, Inner Earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. So I will talk about that in a second. The next one we have here is Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Look at how pretty these are. So um, the Star Seed is one of these beautiful decks that is meant for energy activation. So I feel like someone's having a rough time here. Need to change your focus. So this new solutions and beginnings, I think maybe you need to change your focus a little bit. Um, go forward with a project you might be thinking about doing and um, you'll survive this, whatever it is. I know it's hard. It feels like the end of the world, but you'll get through it. We always do. The only way out is through, right? You'll be okay. Just look at the beauty of inner earth there. I'm sure Atlantis has some beautiful messages for you since we got Inner Earth. There is an Atlantis card in this deck and I was curious to see if it would come out, but Inner Earth works just as well. So with life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning, I also feel like you are being tested right now for um, whatever this trouble is that you're going through, whatever this hardship is, whoever is watching, um, it seems like you're having a little bit of a hardship that you're having a hard time trying to get through, get over, whatever that may be. And just remember, you guys, it is a life lesson, okay? So all of these things are happening for you, not to you. Remember that, you guys, that's very important. I know it may seem like the end of the world and that things are happening to you, but everything happens for a reason and that is for you to grow and learn some lessons and be the best version of yourself that you can be to help lift yourself up to that higher vibration that you are meant to be in okay so now let's go ahead I think I'm going to pull an Atlantis card oh hold on I'm hearing one more from this let's see what the bottom is oh okay lifting the veil that's what we have at the bottom so if you can see that it says questioning everything anything unaligned must go so whatever you feel like is not on your path to serve you currently, if you feel like you've got some friends hanging around or a job that just you aren't vibing with anymore or some things that you're holding on to from your past that just aren't serving you anymore, it might be time for you guys to let that go so that you can get aligned with the path that you are supposed to be on so that you can achieve whatever it is you are trying to manifest. So if you got some things hanging around that are mucking up your energy, some things or some people that are giving you a really rough time, um, it's hard, but sometimes you just got to let them go for your best self, for your best, best foot forward. So <laughs> yeah, you're not for everyone. <laughs> it says embrace your weirdness, face your true north. So I think that's all we've got for that one. But definitely you guys embrace your weirdness, face your true north. That's such a good message. I love that one because I mean, we're all a little weird. There is no such thing as normal and you don't have to be the person next to you to be loved and to be um, authentic. So remember that you guys, you are uniquely you and you need to learn your to love yourself so that everyone else can learn to love you and so that you can see your true worth and others can see it with you so um just remember you are a beautiful unique divine being okay you are meant for so much more than the third dimension can give you and just remember you got to find that path yourself there is no other single person who can do it for you there is no other single person that can get you into that headspace you need to do that on your own it's very important so um that was a message for someone it sounded like that was very specific thank you spirit and let's go ahead and consult our atlantis deck here so i love this deck do we have any messages from atlantis for our viewers Messages from Atlantis for our viewers. Messages from Atlantis for our viewers. Ooh, ooh, ooh I felt that one. Ooh, there was like a little tingle in that one. <laughs> okay, messages from Atlantis for our viewers. Messages from Atlantis for our viewers. There we go. There we go. All right, what we got here? We got all kinds of things happening. Um, I don't know what to take. Do I take this one? Okay, this one, this one. Oh, that message has come out twice for me this week. That's interesting. 
Okay, I'm not going to read all of these. There's a lot. <laughs> okay, I have to read all of these. Um, <laughs> I guess they're very important. That's why all of them came out. So <laughs> bear with me here, guys. So we got uh, five of these. I have no idea what order they flipped out in because some of them flipped and one of them jumped. So this one, I think, is the one that jumped. We're going to take a look at that one. It says balance. So this one is number 29, which equates to 11, which is also an angel number, which is super cute that that came out with that angel there. So... Um, do I read the whole card or just the bottom part? Okay, so I'm just going to read the bottom part to you guys because there's a lot in these cards. So it says, this card is telling you to keep your life in balance. Your guidance is to find equilibrium in every area of your life. Make sure you give and receive equally and keep your work and play in balance. To keep your chakras in balance, breathe deeply into any part of your body that feels tense or low in energy. Beautiful. So the next one we have here is the Great Crystal. This one tells you to direct your powers. So this card suggests that you look at the source of your inner power. Do not underestimate yourself. Every thought, word, and action, excuse me, radiates an energy that affects others and draws situations and people to you. Make sure your aims are for the highest good. Great currents of energy will emanate from you, enabling you to be a power generator to help the world. Use your power for the highest good. Thank you. The next one we have here is Excellence, and that is number 33, which is also an angel number and master number. So this one says, do your best. If you chose this card, you may be presented with a challenge or responsibility. Accept it and do it graciously. It does, oh, do it graciously to the very best of your ability. It does not matter whether you fail or succeed. Your guidance is to participate with all your heart and soul and whatever life presents to you. That one is so pretty. Okay, almost done. So this one is presence. It says number 35 here, which equates to eight. That one is really good. And it was 1222 when I looked at the phone there. So this one says, live in the now. What a good message. Your guidance is to be fully present, emotionally, as well as physically, <laughs> for yourself and others. So the past is gone and churning about it is wasted energy. The future is yet to be written for you. Manifest it with your current thoughts. Make sure your mind focus is positive and constructive. Remain aware at all times. And that's a very great message. We don't realize that we can get stuck in negative, low vibrational thinking, and we start to manifest more negative, low vibration things for ourselves. And then we wonder why things happen to us, right? That's why I tell you guys everything happens for you and not to you. You have to remember that you are manifesting everything that happens to you. And I know a lot of people might argue that one and that's totally fine, but it's just what I believe and we manifest the reality around us. Okay, so if you guys want a better reality, high vibrations, good things, you got to think about those. You got to focus on the good. You got to be grateful. You got to give more gratitude and more love to the universe so that the universe can continue to bring that into your life. So I did talk about that in my angels video as well. Cute little butterfly flew at the window right when I said that too. So this next one we've got here is number nine and it says dolphin. So wisdom and joy. This card suggests that you live lightly and wisely, bringing joy, fun, and laughter into your life. You are also guided to develop your healing abilities, serving your fellow humans and planet. Serve with wisdom and joy. And that one, I love that bottom part. Develop your healing abilities and serve your fellow humans and the planet. That is what being a starseed and light worker is all about. And we do have this beautiful starseed deck here with us today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. That's an interesting card that's on top there. Can you guys see that? It's the High Priest. And I have been getting the Hierophant a lot in readings lately. I think mainly because I said I don't understand the Hierophant, so I've been getting it in literally every reading I have been doing. <laughs> I feel like the universe was like, you don't understand it? Well, you're about to get a whole lot of it. So let me shuffle these back in there really quick. All right. 
So thank you, Atlantis, for those messages. And thank you, Starseed Oracle, for those messages. So I saved the mermaids for last because I might need to read from the book for this one. Some of these are very uh, specific and there is a lot in the book. So hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't make me read from the book, but we'll find out. So I do love working with this mermaid deck. And one of the interesting things about it is that there's actually upright and reversed meanings and these are oracle cards. So I have been trying to start working with this deck a little bit. I love it. They're very beautiful. I see lots of other readers using them as well. So what do the mermaids have for us today? Do the mermaids have any messages for our viewers? Oh, that's cute. That butterfly is just out there playing by itself right in front of my window. It's like doing all kinds of dances and stuff. <laughs> okay, do the mermaids have any messages for our viewers? Any messages for our viewers from the mermaids? <clears throat> all right. I hear you. So such a hard deck to shuffle these cards are so big oh got a little bit of stagnant energy there someone doesn't like what i just told them and doesn't want to move forward out of their energy they're being a little stubborn there <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to take this one because that one's funny that that came out right as I said that. So this one says telepathy, number 30. <laughs> so nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. And the next one that is on the bottom here, number 28, sanctuary, privacy, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. So someone might be feeling like they don't have any personal space. Huh. Feeling a little trapped there, guys? Get outside. Okay, I can't I can't shuffle these. We're gonna side sh sideways shuffle these. There we go, that's what I needed. So someone is feeling a little trapped there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vulnerability. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. What else we got, mermaids? I feel like you guys are on a roll right now. On your roll right now with the mermaids. This is getting kind of long. I didn't mean for it to run this long, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, good message. Energy field adjustment, aura cleansing and health. So this goes along with that uh, learning your healing abilities. Also guys, it's very important to take care of ourselves. I like reading my uh, witch's book of self care because it has a lot of really sweet messages. And one of them is that sometimes we feel guilty for taking time off of our normal lives to take care of ourselves, but it's very important. No one else is gonna take care of you if you don't know how to take care of you. Very important, especially with that message of vulnerability. I feel like somebody is um, getting a really good message here of codependence for some reason. So I don't know if we have someone watching that needs that message, but it feels like you are relying very heavily on someone else for your happiness. Um, you don't think that you can get there on your own. You don't think you have those powers and you don't think you have the tools and you definitely do. Every one of us does, and we just gotta find them. We gotta dig deep for that strength. So I was going to actually pull tarot cards for this one, but I didn't want to pull a tarot card I didn't know and have to look it up. So I feel like that was a very, I'm getting really specific messages. I wonder who it is that needs this. Um, oh, okay, so visions. Psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, and out-of-body travel. So especially with that full moon right now, someone might have done a little bit of astral projection. Um, also be coming into your psychic powers uh, with that telepathy card and now with the visions card. Feels like some of you guys are getting some heightened powers here and being a little bit um, nervous about what's going on. And I did have this conversation with someone else recently as well that they feel like they're going a little bit crazy and you guys are not going crazy. Just realize when you go through a spiritual awakening and you start hearing things and you start seeing things, 
that is you leveling up that is you seeing into other dimensions hearing into other dimensions okay you're not going crazy lots of other people have gone through that with you you're not alone all right but you do need to learn to accept it and work with it so that you can embrace it and grow those powers because the more you try to um bury those powers the more you try to be in denial of them and stay in the third dimensional veil of lies uh, the stronger they're going to get but out of negative energy and that's not a good thing to increase those powers in negative energy and negative vibrations and you're going to get a whole lot of things coming at you that you don't want and it's going to cause a lot of turmoil in you okay so uh, please be kind to yourselves guys if you're getting some things yeah i got the visions card again so if you're getting some things you're getting some crazy dreams that are telling the future you guys are noticing some clear abilities come up all of a sudden remember you guys we are in the age of aquarius and we are all all meant to wake up and remember who we are and that's why we're here you guys so I might actually pull one more from the starseed oracle I feel like the starseed was not done and I cut it off um, I'm gonna leave these ones out that we already pulled though so whoo yeah I definitely feel some starseed messages going on here um, what was I saying yeah we're all meant to wake up and remember who we are and um, it, it's happening to a lot of us and the more of us wake up the higher we raise the vibration of the collective consciousness the more people will wake up with us and i know that can be a really scary thing when someone else gets you into the position of waking yourself up and then you feel like you're left out in the cold but that's a lesson there for you that person was put into your life as a lesson to wake you up remember that you are this great beautiful divine being and you are meant for so much more and that you need to learn to hone those powers on your own okay that person cannot hold your hand forever that person cannot help um help you master those abilities and you need to be able to find that type of balance and that type of uh, control within yourself it's very important and just remember the things that are limiting you in the third dimension are not real in the astral realm okay 22 22 on the camera right as i said that so beautiful manifesting power there you guys beautiful message from the angels so uh, i feel like somebody needs to listen to their angels getting a lot of angel numbers here going on so do we have any more messages here for the viewers from the starseed oracle any more messages for the viewers i know i cut you off earlier i'm sorry i didn't want to pull too many cards but we're already going into 30 minutes so have at it <clears throat> getting a little tickle in my throat not being able to drink water on camera is very hard for me <laughs> oh 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 any messages any last messages for our viewers here any last messages for our viewers here? I am hearing a, uh, Archangel Michael. Someone needs to hear that. Someone needs to reach out to Archangel Michael. Um, they're a little bit peeved that I didn't bring the angel deck over here because it's the Angels of Atlantis deck, but those require lots of reading, and I didn't want to get six angel cards and spend the whole time reading. So um, <laughs> Archangel Michael is telling me very loudly to let everyone know he is here for you guys he's here for everybody and he just needs you to call on him for support if you ever need it you don't have to be religious to call on archangel michael by any means um, if you ever see the number 911, that is indicative of archangel michael being around you if you see the color red right as you feel like someone is around you that's archangel michael okay you guys so um, be sure if you ever need any kind of guidance support love you can call on archangel michael you can always call on archangel metatron as well as archangel raphael okay they're always here for you guys they are sent to us and they are very special angels that can traverse that low vibrational um, issue I know I have said that angels want us to raise our vibration so that they can meet us um, that is a lot of angels but special angels like Archangel Michael Archangel Metatron and Archangel Raphael um, do not need though they like it they'd rather be around high vibrations but they have um that specific purpose of being around people who really need it so um let me see what we got here at the bottom 
the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen so i'm going to go ahead and end on that one there you guys this got a little long but um i really hope that <laughs> they won't let me stop <laughs> The seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to the light. Okay, so you guys, I think that the message that we are getting here from Atlantis is that we are all beautiful, divine beings. We are all starting to wake up and remember ourselves and see the potential within ourselves, see all of the beautiful powers that we have. I'm sure she agrees with me. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. I know I don't do intuitive readings too often. I would like to get to a place of of being able to pull tarot and do pick a cards while I'm doing intuitive readings. So bear with me, you guys. I would like to do more fun random readings like this for you guys. I really enjoy it. Tis my bread and butter, it is. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that reading. If you made it to the end, if this resonated with you, please give me a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, that's cool. Thumbs down, you don't have to like my video. And all of these decks that I used will be linked in the description box for you guys if you would like to purchase them on Amazon. So um, all of my social information, booking information, wishlist information, all that's always down there for you guys in the description box. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day wherever you are when this video reaches you, my friends. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Namaste.